Alright guys, how is everybody doing today? Um, so today I'm going to be doing a quick little review slash tutorial on MinerGate. Um, I've seen a couple of people asking about MinerGate, I've seen a couple of people ask about other websites or mining pools, um, and this is going to be just a uh, quick little tutorial. Like I said, in 2019, currently it is um, February 24th and um, just kind of showing people how to get into mining and to see um, more or less just for the hobbyists actually because I personally don't think that um, mining in 2019 unless you have a dedicated rig with um, the proper equipment that uh, mining is profitable at all uh, I think it's more or less just gonna be um, for the really dedicated people but if you are trying to get into it as a hobby or kind of just trying to see how it works exactly um, then this video is going to show you how to get MinerGate going in under five minutes because it really is very simple. So all you need to do is go to uh, MinerGate.com. Um, once you're there, this is going to be the home page. Um, to download uh, the um, extension or to download the actual app um, to put on your computer, all you do is just click on this Downloads button. It's going to take you to a screen. Um, it's got my personal info on there right now, so I'm not going to be showing it. but um, It'll take you to a screen. Uh, you just click download. It downloads it. You choose where to save it to, and um, you have the application in less than less than a minute. So, when, once you download it, uh, let me go and open it up real quick because I already do have it downloaded. Um, once you download it, it takes you to let me log it actually. So it takes you to this screen here. This is where you're gonna put in your email address. Um, do the one set up an account first before you do this, but um, you can put in anything right here. You could put in whatever you want as long as it's at a actual email account um, I don't know whose email account this is but I'm just gonna put in one two three four for right now and then um, you can press start mining it'll take you to this uh, screen here this is gonna show you that uh, this is a smart mining and it's gonna automatically set it up to mine whatever is easiest for your computer um, to make the most amount of money um, but if you want to actually go and choose for yourself go over here and click on this little pickaxe pickaxe icon and it's going to show you all of your options that you have here so it has um, Monero, Monero Classic, Bytecoin, um, Ethereum Classic, Ethereum, uh, Bitcoin somewhere on here I think it's down a little bit but uh, then you go here you choose how many cores you want to mine with um, depending on your computer it'll show you how it'll max out with how many is available um, and then you just simply click start mining um, I'm not going to let it go for too long because uh, I don't want anything to lag on the computer while I'm doing this recording but uh, I do have another one going on in the background so I'll go to their uh, go to their website which has a little bit of a dashboard and you can kinda see all your accounts because you can hook up more than one um, mining rig to uh, one account and it, it has real-time updating um, all you do to go to that is you go back to minergate.com you click on your dashboard and it has um, how much you've already mined um, I've been just going for like an hour this morning um, with this rig just to kind of see how it worked out and then I also have a uh, a surface tablet um, that uh, that I have going on in the background right now just to kind of show you uh, an example of how this works um, so it says I've mined um, 000 a lot of zeros um, 194 which is pretty much next to nothing so uh, right here it has your dashboard of all your coins Zcash, Bitcoin, Gold, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Bitcoin. Uh, we'll come down to Monero because this is what's going right now. So that surface that's going on in the background, uh, it is currently it has 35 hash, which is not a lot to be honest. Um, you can see there's one worker going because I do not have. Um, I'm not mining on here. If I were to start mining, it would um, populate and it would have two here. Um, let's see here. But uh, this is going to be more or less the dashboard. Um, when you come on here, you can check it from your phone. So say you leave your, leave your rig going um, and you leave or maybe you're out of town, whatever the case may be, you can always pull up this, log on to your account and it'll show you if your stuff's still going, um, how it's doing, um, how much it's mined. And for each different coin, there is going to be, uh, it, it will always say unconfirmed until you break the, the threshold. So for Monero, it's point zero zero five um, coins need to be mined before it will actually give this to you and put it in your um, in your wallet that are your your online wallet in here um, which I believe a point zero zero two five or point zero zero one whatever it is uh, that is gonna be 25 cents so um, if you go to yeah the point zero zero five coins is 25 cents which um, 
to be honest, for me, it's going to take me a couple of days just to get there. Um, the amount of energy that my computers would draw just to get there is not worth 25 cents. It's it's actually worth more. So for me, it um, unless I have multiple computers going and uh, I have a rig, it's just not profitable for me. But it is interesting. And if you're trying to get into it as a hobby, I mean, this is a great place to start. Um, I wouldn't say that you're going to make a lot of money, but it is cool just to see how everything kind of works. Um, everything else is just, just a little rundown. So it's showing that I am online because I do have my Surface going. Um, I haven't mined a single block yet. I have mined my 12,000 shares, and you just saw there that this did go up. Um, I mined 16 bad shares, which just means that I didn't submit them fast enough, or the computer didn't submit them fast enough to actually count. So um, it's not going to count those ones, but um, really those don't happen too often. As you can see, it's 16 out of 12,000 is really pretty good ratio. Um, over here, it's going to show you that... Uh, the pool altogether, so out of 6,000 mi 6, miners, different miners, um, the pool is at uh, 3.474 mega hash. Um, and out of the entire world, so everybody in the world that's mining Monero right now, um, they are at 859 mega hash. Um, this is the blockchain height that we're at, so this is the block we're at, and then this is the current difficulty to mine. Um, I honestly don't 100% know what the different difficulties mean just because. Um, some of them are really high, like Ethereum is really high, Bitcoin is ridiculously high, um, and it, I don't think it's based off of money because Bitcoin is worth next to nothing, and it's got a, a pretty high um, pretty high difficulty as well. So I'm not 100% familiar at that. And then um, it also shows you here on the far right side that uh, these are the top five users. So if I scroll up here to my Monero, um, that surface is producing 43 hash, woohoo, but the... Um, the number one person is just about at 79,000 hash. So um, really, unless you have a rig, I would say this is just going to be a hobby thing. Don't expect to make a lot of money because out of going for a couple hours, um, I've only made nothing. So um, this is just going to be the quick little rundown on how this works. Um, like I said, I would definitely get a dedicated rig. I would um, do a lot of research before looking into it. But if you're just kind of trying to get into it just to see how it works, um, this is how it is. You can download it on pretty much anything. I downloaded it on a tablet more or less. And uh, you can get going in just a matter of a couple of minutes. And... Um, yeah, that's pretty much the run down there. Um, you do have a good uh, selection of coins um, that you can mine, but um, like I said, unless you have a computer that has that's producing a lot of hash or you have a rig that's going, I would say just probably stick to trading because in 2019, I don't necessarily think that um, just GPU mining off your computer is very profitable. But thanks for stopping by, guys. Um, if you like the video, drop a like. I am going to be producing a little bit more content. Um, I definitely love uh, all the feedback that you guys are given, and um, if you guys want to see anything else, drop a comment down below. Um, it's it's uh, it really helps me out. So uh, thanks for stopping by, guys, and have a great rest of your day.